All right, folks, Rick Waller came back again to another Masters of the Universe Classics figure review. This time we've got He-Man Galactic Protector. That's right, we've got the He-Man figure from the Mas new Adventures of He-Man line. For a moment I forgot the name, but it's back to me now. now unlike a lot of uh, He-Fans, I actually really liked New Adventures. Not a popular view, but then I've never been that popular a person. So let's pop the figure out of the box, see what we've got. Okay, this figure's already been opened. I picked it up off eBay. Pre-opened, but already, but still all packaged in here. Nicely, nice and subtly opened, so it's all good. Back of the box shows some other figures released. A couple of the Space Mutants, along with Faker. This figure, of course, Icarius, or Flipshot as we know him, and Zodak. We've also got the brand new bio for the Galactic Protector He-Man. Do you want to have a quick read? There it is, possibly. Now, the only thing I don't like about this bio, well, there's a few things I don't like about the bios that have been coming out, but what I don't like about this one is it suggests we're not going to get an Adam from the New Adventures line. Which to me is a really sh good big shame. I really liked that Adam. I thought it was a really nice redesign for him. But no, according to the bio, he's given up his Adam identity. Which I suppose... It's in keeping with the mini comics. Pop him out of the packaging. As you can see, it's nicely done. And thankfully, because it's been pre-opened, I don't have to deal with them ties on the damn figure. Right, let's get rid of the accessories for a moment, just to have a look at the base figure. As expected, it has a reuse of the bow legs. The only new thing on this is the new forearms, I believe, and the new head sculpt. Now I've heard a lot of people saying that they don't like the head sculpt on the grounds it doesn't look enough like the original Masters of the Universe Classics He-Man. Because if you go back to the New Adventures toy line, you could still see it was the same face. And this one, it's a touch narrower. And there is no denying it is a touch narrow narrower. It's easy for me to say. But I don't mind that so much. It's Still enough like He-Man that you can see it's him. Especially in the helmeted head, which we'll come to later, but quick preview there. Move them off to the side for the moment. So, standard articulation. Shoulders up and down. Out to the side. Stiff on this figure, but that's no bad thing. Top of the elbow, Top of the shoulders there. Elbow joint, wrist articulation, but unlike other He-Man figures, it's also got a wrist twist as well. One of them going that way, on the other hand, goes up and down, which is something we'll come back to later, because that gives him something unique amongst every He-Man figure ever. Got waist, we've got a... Uh, Ab crunch, really good ab crunch on this figure as well. Waist articulation. The legs bend that much. Though not much ankle pivot to let you have him do the splits and stand on his feet. They go forward, perfect amount as you can see. The crotch piece is nice and soft so it'll come up with it. So you can have him driving the Windrider, or a Bolo Jet, or whatever you want. What other items come out for the new adventures? Knee goes that far. Oh, top of the legs are cut as well. Boots have, will turn. Really stiff ankle joints, but they are there. 
I fear I could break this figure using them too much. And of course, the head's on a ball joint. Nice ponytail on the back. That's the one thing the original New Adventures figure lacked for me was the ponytail. Because in the cartoon he had one. And as you can see, I'm not exactly straight to the long hair myself. Right. So the articulation is pretty much standard. Now onto the uh, armour piece. It's got a nice iron cross to show it's He-Man. Got a nice holster in the back for the sword. Every He-Man figure should have some kind of holster. But this also is removable. Which again, basic book, basic book underneath. Nice soft plastic. Not much to say about that really. It looks good. Looks like the the New Adventures figure did. But it comes with interchangeable armour. The armour. Again, two little clips here like a lot of these armours are. Nice and soft and flexible. Again, somewhere to house his sword. To put this on. You have to, to borrow a line from the Queen of Hearts. Off with his head. Always got to be careful when taking a head like this one off so you don't accidentally break the ponytail. That's my one concern of figures with ponytails like that. Then you just pop that over the book. Now comes the one tricky part of the armour, getting it back on the pegs at the back. It's almost easy enough to do, but... Feed them in. Don't know if you can see that there's a couple of little tabs that have to slip under while the rest of it goes over. Which, if you're not as dexterous as others, can prove tricky. Also proves tricky because it's not quite big enough, I don't think. But yeah, you still retain the ab crunch with this on. From the front when it's down like that. There's no problems at all. You can obviously see the small of his back. When you add the rabbit crunch back, you can also see his stomach. But yeah, in your standard pose, it's not bad at all. Helmeted head popped on. And there we go. Helmeted. Fully armoured up. New Adventures He-Man. Or Galactic Protector, He-Man rather. Let's not uh, ruin their marketing. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to mention on the front here. Big Galactic Protector sticker in the style of the New Adventures logo. Right, we've already looked at his interchangeable armour, his helmet. Let's have a look at his accessories. Naturally, he's got his shield, which clips on the arm easily enough. Nowhere to store the shield, which is a shame, but... It looks like it's an energy projected thing, so it might just disappear into his wrist gauntlet and we hide it away somewhere. The sword, as I've already said, will fit into there, will fit into there, will fit into his hand. And because of that extra piece of articulation, he is the first He-Man figure ever to be able to do the iconic I have the power pose. Which, let's be fair, that is a massively iconic pose. With most of them, the nearest you can get is that. Which, generally for me, is enough. But it is so much nicer being able to get him to do that in the, with this one. That should be a re-release of the original He-Man from this line with that extra point of articulation. Even I'd be tempted to buy that, and I'm a Yorkshireman. So we've got him doing the Eye of the Power. Again, seems slightly strange to me that you're going to let him be able to do this pose if you've written Adam out and it's his big transforming phrase, but maybe it's from him transforming from that to that. But yeah, let's talk about the sword for a second. Recreation of the New Adventures sword. So we've got the clear plastic for this blade, the well, with a green tinge, of course. Looks really nice. 
not as translucent as the original figure, but still looks very good. You can see a shad running up the middle as well, which, again, nice attention to detail. Looks awesome. I'm not saying it looks as good as the original New Adventures sword, but it does look awesome. The handle looks perfect for that. I actually really love the design of this sword. This has to be my favourite power sword. Or sword of he, if we want to call it that. One thing that does disappoint me though is we've not yet got an official explanation of why the classic sword turns into this. I would really like to see that. Perhaps it was in a mini comic that I've missed. But... Yeah, to me... That's a mystery that should be explained. But yeah, New Adventures He-Man, in all his glory, looks really good. If you're a New Adventures fan, pick him up. If you're a New Adventures fan, of course you're going to pick him up. Stupid thing to say. If you're a He-Man fan in general, really good figure, really nice looking, really well done. Pick him up. If you're on the fence about the line, I'd still pick him up because I think he's a really good figure. If you hated New Adventures, maybe he's not the figure for you. But but no, I still think you should pick him up because, hey, it's really good. No paint bleeds that I've noticed. Cool alternate heads. Cool alternate armors. Great looking sword. Great looking shield. You can't ask for more, really. Yeah, you can, but you're not going to get it from Mattel. So, till next time, see you